So let's get back to the challenge. How, how does a company take this technology and get the most out of it? How do we get rid of the bottlenecks? You know, and, and how do we make measurement easier? How do we, how do we advance this process? So let's go, over the, uh, let's go over the solutions. So first we want to decentralize the QC process. We want to take the measurement capability out to where it needs to be used. We want to make the software easy to use. We want it to be intuitive. We want to involve things like touchscreen displays and, and easy to understand programming sequences. We want to make that process accessible. So not only does the um, say the, the machinist who's making a part or the technician who's working on the shop floor, but we want to make it accessible. If there's an engineering person, a, a tool and die maker, somebody in the maintenance shop that wants to walk up and use that machine, we want to make that machine functional for them too so that more people can use that, that technology. And the big one is removing the variability and the subjectivity. We want to take away any question marks of, of what snugly is, right? And, or if, the, if you know, these, these very kind of vague ways of understanding a measurement and we want to be certain about that. So the big question is, and, and I, I, I've sat in you know, meetings where we have companies you know, making very advanced technology and their, their challenge is, is we, we, we've got to employ this technology quickly. We need to get it into the hands of our people. And how do we do that? So how do we go from here, from somebody who basically just got out of school, who doesn't have any experience yet, and they're still learning, and, and how do we get them so that they can be effective in a manufacturing world, in a very fast-paced manufacturing world where, where mistakes are very costly, so that they can advance quickly to a manufacturing environment and be, be productive. And most importantly for us this morning, you know, looking at the measurement science of manufacturing. Where, where can we take this technology so that it's easy to use and it's effective in the process? So, we've got a little video here. Hope it works. So what we're doing here is this, is this is what we're referring to as discoverable technology. So we're walking up and now we can touch the screen. We can touch the feature on the screen. Have any of you seen this being used? And we can actually touch on the graphic representation of those measurements we made and we can make constructions in the measurement very quickly and very easily. So now we're actually dimensioning. So we're also doing like a reverse engineering of that part. You could do it very simply. So whether you, you may not have a drawing. Maybe your engineering team says, oh, we have this part. It was kind of, you know, we lost the drawing or whatever it is. Reverse engineer it from here and you can export that data out. You, and then you can have the power of that measurement process um, aid your engineering process as well. 